somewhere off the Atlantic Ocean. Right guys, so we've landed in America and we're currently in uh, a hire car uh, that we're going to be using during the duration of this holiday and basically we're currently in a Infiniti SUV uh, it looks really nice I'll just give you a quick 360 view You'll notice a few of the seats have actually down at the moment because they've got that much uh, luggage uh, to get through, got three cases, lots of hand luggage. <laughs> um, so, I'm only using it as a three seater SUV, but even though it's actually more than that, um, the back seats, as you guys can see, are basically being put down so we can uh, get more. Um, I can't think of the right word I'm searching for here in American term, but uh, more boot space so we can get more stuff in the back of the uh, car. Um, so we're just currently, I'm just currently um, at a Publix local supermarket in uh, Florida and just getting some necessity groceries, i.e. like, you know, what you would typically have <laughs> on a first day when you arrive, so like milk, groceries, that sort of stuff. Um, then we're going to make our way over to our villa in a moment and once we arrive we're going to obviously gonna check it in, unpack, yada yada yada, etc. Et uh, turn in for the night because it's literally, what time is it? Half past nine. This is American time, but in our body clocks, it's technically half past two in the morning. So we're uh, pretty clean crackered. So I think we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a quick little run through. Then I'm gonna do a proper house tour, uh, probably tomorrow morning. Um, then that's gonna be a really exciting video, guys. Hope everyone's all right with that. Um, Landed at a new terminal, I think it's a new terminal anyway, uh, at Orlando International Airport. Terminal C took us at least a seven to eight minute walk, but what's interesting is usually with most airports, they always do like a security control first, then collect your luggage, but it appears that's now flipped, like flip flopped. So basically, we have to do the luggage first, then the security. So that's pretty good in terms of. Um, queues and things like that but because we have a certain thing which allows us to not necessarily queue jump as such but um, there's a certain thing in, pro in place which if, if I think of the word I'm searching for guys I'll put I'll add it in the uh, pinned comment but um, there's a certain thing which allows us um, to basically get through the queues quicker if that makes sense so that was pretty good. Um, the length of the queues, if we were just turning in as normal passengers, I guess you could say, would have been in there for at least another hour. So we're pretty lucky. So I'm quite happy with uh, how it's gone. Um, it did take a long time for the actual baggage to actually come off the carousel. Uh, we were informed of a 15 minute wait, uh, which we'll, be, we'll think quite a few of us were a bit angry about, but um, it's all right now, we're good. Um, we landed at about, oh goodness me, I think we landed at about roughly 7 o'clock local time, that's in America Eastern time, which in, for us from the UK would be midnight essentially, so it's gone well so far. Like I said, we're just getting some groceries, just went for my parents to come back, and once we've done that, 
uh, checking ourselves in the house, then possibly uh, get the grocery sorted out, get unpacked, just turn in for the night. First thing tomorrow morning, I'm going to see if I can get a full house to her. I um, hope everyone's alright with that. And I'm just doing a quick little few more view shots of what to expect. Um, but that's about it, guys. And if, it, if I don't speak again in the moment of this um, vlog, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. So, well, make sure you guys check out the players for other videos during this vlog trip. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.